My name is Hannah Caldwell, and I'm a PhD student with Professor Phil Ainsley at the University of British Columbia Okanagan campus in the School of Health and Exercise Sciences. This study looked at the influence of core body temperature during submaximal cycling exercise on brain blood flow regulation. To do this, we had participants exercise for approximately 60 minutes on a semi-recumbent cycle ergometer to elicit a steady increase in core body temperature of approximately 0.75 degrees Celsius. On a separate day, Participants completed approximately 75 minutes of passive heat stress, where we matched each individual's increase in core body temperature achieved during exercise using a water perfused suit. We measured brain blood flow in the internal carotid artery, external carotid artery, and vertebral artery using duplex ultrasound. We found that both exercise and passive heat stress selectively increased blood flow in the vertebral artery by approximately 16%. Additionally, blood flow in the external carotid artery increased by approximately 43% during both exercise and passive heat stress. Lastly, blood flow in the internal carotid artery was not significantly different during either exercise or passive heat stress. These findings indicate that the therapeutic cerebrovascular effects of acute exercise, such as increases in regional brain blood flow, may be achieved with moderate level passive heat stress and may provide support for passive heat stress as a novel exercise alternative for certain clinical populations. Lastly, the results from the present study suggest that changes in core body temperature should be considered when assessing brain blood flow regulation during exercise to provide context for comparisons between different exercise intensities and durations.